Hello everyone, and welcome to my podcast. This is my brother Silas. What's up? We're going to have a nice conversation. Get ready. It's going to get hectic. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> uh, so how did your day start? It's nice. Uh, this morning I got to work. We're getting, you know, at, at the store. I, I, I had to go to work at 7.30 today because Gary took vacation this week. Okay. So he's a... Uh, not he, I, apparently he's just hanging at his house, which is fine. Yeah, that's a vacation. Some, some people use that as their vacation time, and to each his own. Certainly, that's a different day for you. Yeah, which is fine. I've been going to work at ten thirty most days. But yeah, you started part time. Mm-hmm. I didn't have anyone irritating up until like one o'clock, which was fine. Which was nice. Like I had a great day actually. That's good. A lot better than yesterday. Like it was super busy yesterday. In terribly incredible, but yeah, those are the slow days. I broke my record on sales, which was cool. Sweet, congratulations! That's nice. Yeah, another thing is, I got in kind of a heated controversy with Zeke today on uh, deer whistles. Deer whistles, you know, like the, the things you put on a, the side of your fucking car, or like you front bumper oh yeah they're like little little things you have to put place them on there you got to put one on this way and one on this way like that one backwards and one forwards right like that and one of them's supposed to whistle in a different way and the other one's you know like it alternating making alternating noises as you're driving down the road anything faster than like 35 miles an hour anyways so what these deer whistles are supposed to do is like essentially make the deer stop and think about what this noise is well some people are saying that they it actually makes them it scares them but ultimately yes it does scare them but deer usually want to run away from whatever noise they're hearing unless they're crossing a road and they don't realize that that's where the the, engine and yeah yeah either way (laughs) so at the end of it like i told zeke was talking about how there's there was a study by some college and they used six different or six vehicles with six sets of deer whistles on them and they drove through and uh, but they drove past a a bunch of deer of course but I I think in the process of doing that they uh, weren't going fast enough because they or or mounted them wrong put them on there wrong Mm -hmm. I think that if they are to mount make sure to mount them right and they're going faster than 35 miles an hour then they should make the noise like right. there's they're saying that these things don't make they're like oh well they don't make noise loud enough that i can even hear it while i'm in the car and i have the windows down well you know I, i'm not a proponent of deer whistles by any means i don't right. i don't care i don't use them like they don't make my life any different but i've seen some people that are religious about it like oh yes these things work awesome right and then I've seen other people who are like, those things are pieces of garbage. Like, I've had them, and I've hit, he's like, like, I had one guy come in, and he told me, he's like, I bought deer whistles for the third time, and this is the third time that the deer whistle didn't work, because he hit a deer <laughs> with the Jeez. deer whistle. So, Ugh. I thought that was entertaining. Yeah. It was, it was, I had to critique his, the website he would, he quoted, though, like, they made a couple of little like misinformation mm-hmm. gestures in there, like they implied. I mean, what they said. The person who researched it, may, they may have known that the uh, the deer fucking don't have a fucking mating season of four months. But in the article, he stated that. Deer's mating season is from between September and December. You know, so, isn't that four months? It's four months. Like he's like that's whoever it was. It could have been a woman. How they quoted it was like that. It, it stated you know like it was between September and December. Right. They didn't like state. Oh well, like they could have been a little more broad on it. Like deer have different species because even elk are included in the deer species. There's elk and then there's like mule deer white tailed deer 
Sitka deer, you know, there's all these yep. different other breeds that are deer, which if they're all in a group, you call them deers. But what I'm saying is, is like they didn't really like graph it out properly with that. And there's a couple things that they didn't really like learn about uh, those things. It talked a lot about the, the suing of this one company called Bell. You know, like I thought that was cool. Right. Like, I mean, I didn't think it was cool that they were getting sued, but it was like kind of interesting that they were, that was literally their only piece of evidence that they had to like go against the the deer whistle yeah. theme, you know? Well, speaking of deer, what do you think of the fires up like Dixie? Oh shit, I know. Crazy. Uh, yeah, I heard it's over 700 acres right now. Mm -hmm. That's insane to me. Super close to the town and what are some do for the wildlife up there? Yeah, for sure. It could be a little, little bit messy. Yeah, it could. The burns were just starting to get nice and green again. Yeah. So, uh, the Dixie fires, that was what we were talking about. Yeah, just definitely going to mess up the wildlife up there for a couple years. Yeah, I don't... I didn't hear which side of Dixie it's on either, so I don't know if it's our hunting ground that's getting burnt up, or if it's our, like, on the opposite side of town. Right. They said it started a mile away from town and it's moving fast, mm -hmm. so I don't know which side of Dixie it started, but... Well, it's gotta be on... I hope it's not too much of our hunting ground. It's gotta it. be most of the hunt, some of the hunting ground, because they haven't evacuated the town. Yeah. And if it took up the road, they'd have to evacuate it before we can fuck it up. Yeah, for sure. They already evacuated most of the town, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. They gave evacuation notices to everyone, so certain people are probably going to stay at their cabins and fight the shit out. Yeah, whoever but, wants to. Yeah, whoever, whoever's willing to. It's crazy. It's the worst time of the year for fires. No, too. I know. There's one up by Cherry Lane, too. One by Kuski. Yeah, one by Kuski. There are actually, I think there's um, there's at least two fires that are on being fought by. The, they're actually contracting out Orfino Fire Department for uh, fires up at the lake. There's oh. like two fires up around Dorshack. Damn, that's crazy. I saw something. Idaho State Police is going to send troops down to Arizona for the Mexican U.S. border. Oh, really? Help fight the drone traffic. What? Okay. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah. That's a little different. A little saucy. Uh, governor. What's his name? Did it. Um. Got a voice in Uh. Fucking Brad Little. Brad Little, yes. Yeah, Brad Little. I mean, all the help is help, so. Yeah. It's just down to go. Interesting. It'll be interesting, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. The stories those boys will have to tell. <laughs> Some Hank Schrader stuff. Yeah. Really? Yep. Like, preventing illegal people from escaping into, escaping out of Mexico, coming into America. Yep. And the drug trade, of course. It, it'll be something different. Like, I'm sure they'll be helping with a little bit of everything. That's... Huh. There's got to be a lot of people if they're taking Idaho State Police yeah. Department. Just saying. Problem. Just saying. It's. It's. Whole different world. Not yes. Whole different world. Everybody's moving from everywhere. Trying the next, the next great migration. I look at <laughs> like I see it as the next great that, migration. That's a great way to put it. Really, that's that's the only way I can think of it, though. It's like, yeah, it's kind of like when the dust, you know, the dust bowl and the, all the fucking, um, what was that song called? I can't think of it. Oh, I know. What you're um, about. it's about that generation. Yeah. I can't think. Of, it's an old country song. It's. Uh, I almost. I want to Google it, but. We don't have a Jamie. No, not Jamie. It's just us two. And a phone. Currently, yes. But we'll figure it out. Someday. Someday. I guess uh, the Dixie Fire, you can see that from Grange. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I seen a, a printout of it on uh, one of those 
thermal maps earlier today and that was it was like really holy crap that's a thermal picture of, of the, the area of the fire very very large when you look at it on the comparison of the state of Idaho it's a, like you can you could see it if if you know you were in an airplane and you were flying over you could look down and probably see flames yeah I bet you could if you could look down in an airplane you know I've only I've, I've only been in an airplane when I was two years old so I don't uh, I don't really know just so yeah uh, there's little glass panels on the one that I was in you look pretty much almost straight down if you wanted to yeah in the airplane when it's like <coughs> yeah when you're turning a little bit you yeah. look down and I imagine so like I've I've never been in one when I've been an adult, so it's interesting. Well, we were in two different airplanes. I was in a little, little two-man airplane. You took one on flight, though, didn't you? Huh? No, when I was two years old, that was the last time I needed one was for when I flew to Seattle. Well, uh, I was actually I was 18 months old, and uh, it was when I mom had to fly with me into Seattle to get my head cut open right. and have the the cyst removed off my forehead. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you don't remember any of that. Nope, not at all. I remember like coming back and Grandpa taking me to Silverwood and that was like, I remember having fun there and I remember some of the rides and I see pictures and I'm like, oh, I remember that too. Right. Like, oh, that's cool. Like I was, it was, I was probably, it was probably six or seven months after I went to fucking, after I got surgery that I went to Silverwood. So I, I could see why I remember that. Mm -hmm. Like it was moments. within four months, I think. I don't. I don't really. Know. Big moments. It's a. I'm just. It's a guessing game yeah. with that. When you're going back that far, it's all it is. Pretty much. I like that picture we got of us when we caught our fish. Both of us caught a fish. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Free fishing day or something. I got. Oh, that was the day I got my that. Um, I won that fishing pole mm -hmm. at the fish hatchery. Yep, that's it. Like that was, I thought that was cool. That was, that was. I remember and that. And then mom broke it. She'll tend to do those things. I know. <laughs> back when, mom back when, it. back when she was, you know, drinking. Yep. Broke my fishing pole, but that's okay. She really broke that thing too. Huh? I know. <laughs> oh well, at least she's doing better now. That's, yep, doing that's, great now. That's all that matters. That's. Sober, sober and getting married. Yep. <laughs> that you know, so I think about I think about that all the time though. Like that's yeah. something good that someone took away from AA. Yep. I don't see you know there's the, the the chances of getting through that when you have that many negatives. It's when really when there's that many neg yeah when there's that many negatives, AA literally only has like a one out of nine return rate yeah it's, uh, it's something like that by the like throughout a year one out of nine people that got in within that year are going to be gone because they don't care about the steps they finish them and they yeah. don't re look on them yeah and or gone and or they had to go do this for a couple months and then Back like oh yeah life. this is this is part of your punishment or whatever so that's one of the reasons right. probably is like they go to aa for those couple months and then they get done and they like oh yeah i'm i'll I'll, I'll go back to my ways now yep. that I'm done with my punishment. I just want to do what I did again. <laughs> be okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Talk to fish. Yeah. Help him in a sec. Oh, how much Michael Franzese have you watched? Michael Franzese? I yeah. have not watched any of it i just like i've read certain things right. before like that's about all i know of him super interesting i've i think i've seen like uh lots of things about his dad before i ever seen anything about him yeah but uh i know he's uh what is he now like a talk show host he does uh like he used to be a mob boss but now he used he's to be a mob boss now he, he served his time he lives in california and he does just uh does his own the podcast kind of. He right, goes yeah. around to schools and talks to children, not really children, more teenagers, and he'll go into prisons and talk to prisoners about what he should tell the teenagers. Okay. So he's that, just, is that like on? Does he do like a show or anything? Yeah, he's got uh, MichaelFrancis.com, and he's got his whole thing there. You can do for free. Or no, I mean team. a show for that, like for the. Oh no, the, I don't think so. I think he just does that for him. What's that called? 
essentially kind of like a scared straight type program. Right. No, he doesn't have a show for it. He just does it because he wants to. Mm -hmm. um, super interesting guy. Really worth checking out. Yeah. Some of the stories he can tell. I haven't, yeah, no, I've never watched any, like, video footage. I mean, I might have, I just don't remember. He like, talks about JFK when you and the mob. When, and yeah. When you, when you talked about him, like, I, I, I didn't, like, it took me a second to re remember who you were talking mm -hmm. about. He's definitely worth it. I've been watching him more than Joe Rogan lately. Yeah. <laughs> I watch a lot of different things, man. I, I, I really can't believe, like, how much shit that I just dive into. It's awful. You get into that, uh, what call the YouTube... Rabbit hole. Yeah, YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah, like, you just get stuff. Well, sometimes you'll dive for an hour, hour and a half. I'm terrible. Depends on what you're doing at the time. Like if I'm playing video game, like I know I'm gonna like, oh, I'm gonna go play video games. Okay, I know I'm gonna play video games in about a half hour. So yeah, I might watch videos mm -hmm. for a half hour. I might, little Joe Rogan, a little bit of Facebook videos, yep. just stupid, stupid bullshit. No, but it's stuff. Running to, down. Time. Stuff, yeah, stuff to ease the time. I agree. I like doing that. Watch a lot of the Steve Wilco's. Getting ready to cook dinner. Or like, say, I have to throw something in the oven, and I'll chill and either play my Walking Dead game on my phone or, you know, stupid yeah. crap like that. Yeah. Or watch Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's nice. Ancient Aliens. I like Ancient Aliens. A little bit of My Name is Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Family guy. <laughs> Family guy. <laughs> those are those are the things that I regular regularly sit down and watch. Family matters as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's a TV. good fucking show. It is a great show. Like I like it. I'm I'm get, finally getting to the part where Steve Urkel starting to be more of a character in the show oh. because it took him a while to like work him in, and then he ends up becoming like the star of the show. Yeah, he wasn't even supposed to be. <laughs> Like he wasn't supposed to be more than like a, be I think you I don't a think guest he was supposed for to, a couple episodes. Well, for yeah, for like a couple episodes or a season, the first season or something. I don't know. Who else did that? Oh, Ice T. He did that on the Law and Order, right? Oh yeah. He was only supposed to appear for three episodes, and, and then he, he became up, a. He's the longest male in a TV series, like yeah, continuously. There's a woman beating him, but he's the male that's in the top yeah. spot for having the longest continuing run isn't, on Isn't isn't the woman uh, from SVU? I'm not sure. Probably something like that, because those are some long run Those series. people don't stay in there super long, but a lot of like the main characters, they tried to stay in as long as they could. Like yeah, give the show. A I think Elliot was in there in like SVU for like five seasons, six seasons. Yeah. Maybe time. more maybe more than that because I think that show went like ten years. Yeah, because they went they have there's like another They might have they might have re they might they might have rebooted it for all I know. Right. But then there's all yeah, you're right. There's Law and Order and then there's Law and Order S V U and then there's um fucking there's a couple of them. There's but, some different little spin off things. Just to make it different different kind of cases. Yeah. Which I like. It's a good idea. No, it's crazy how long people can be on the same TV show like I see. But he also just wanted to do everything. Like, he didn't want to turn stuff down because it was just another chance to make money. Yeah, really. That's all he wanted. Well, yeah, especially, you know, like, he, he like I think he ended up liking being an actor better than being a rapper. It was way easier. Yeah. Came, came quicker and At the better. time, the money wasn't really in rapping make a couple hundred thousand and never make another dollar. Except for when 90s blew up. Like NWA and stuff. That all yeah, changed. Yeah, for sure. Everything. That was that was a big, big flip, I suppose. Yeah, because it was just rapping for fun. You know what I remember watching a lot of? Uh, CSI. But, oh. like, I watched a lot of CSI Miami over all of them. Right. Like, well, especially Miami, that's though. that's what Grandma Lori and Grandpa Ken like. They both loved Horatio. Well, that actor like it was. I don't. I don't know. Right? Like that was like their favorite character. Yeah, he's the one. Like there, there used to be like a like they joked about it on all of, like a bunch of different TV shows. Mm -hmm. Family Guy, Simpsons. Yep. Like it was funny. Like I I thought I it was think quite entertaining. Great. A little cameo to make that character feel real. Yeah, definitely. I love that. 
gave him, you know, like an extra little bit of pizzazz. Yeah. Like that's his thing as he takes his glasses off and announces something. It's, it's like, like, you know, he has a good enough voice, he can get away with it. He does. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, uh, oh, I just said his name. Morgan Freeman. Anything he does, he can get away with because of his voice. Yeah. Any role he does, any goofy little thing, love it. He's got the freedom to express himself when he wants to. Yeah, Morgan Freeman, above all people, has that. He could be, I think he could almost get away with anything that he wanted to say. Him and the Allstate guy. Him and the Allstate guy, <laughs> Jim Carrey. And I'm not only saying that because I, ha I now have Allstate. I'm just saying He's that saying because I, I've just done it. Uh, I'm saying it because I've always loved the Allstate guy. Anyways, before Those commercials like great. this happened within the last month that I got <laughs> Allstate, so I've I've loved the Allstate commercials for way longer. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's funny. I can't believe they changed the the Allstate guy. No, not the Allstate guy. They did change him too, by Jake the way. Jake from State Farm. Yeah, I know him too. That, that's one that you just couldn't change to me, and especially. Yeah. This guy with the same name. Well, I don't play. know if they changed the Allstate guy. I will say that I've seen a different Allstate guy, like a couple of them since him, but I know he's probably still doing them. Right. Because it might have just been a couple of different commercials that he wasn't capable of doing. Right, doing something Like else. he was doing something else. Maybe it was when he was acting in Lucifer. Oh yeah, you he never was know. In that show for he a was while. in that. Sh he's, he was God in Lucifer. He was God. So, okay. so <laughs> I thought he was the brother, but uh, no, Amenadiel is his black brother. Oh, yeah. but uh, the Allstate guy is like <laughs> he's God. And that's funny. I thought that was like hilarious. That's who they chose. That's sorry to sorry funny. to spoil that for for <laughs> listeners. Oh yeah, it's okay. <laughs> You know, if you haven't seen us, you should watch Lucifer by now. Not even. Yeah, because you, by the time you see us, it, it'll be old news anyway. Yeah, it's old news. <laughs> as as it, is, it is old news, but it's <laughs> not. Mm. You haven't been watching much TV lately. It's kind of YouTube documentaries. And <laughs> I, get, I get away with a half hour every now and again of TV. Like half hour in the morning and then maybe like when we're like getting ready to go to bed and, mm -hmm. and eating dinner I'm like oh we'll eat dinner and watch a movie right watch five episodes of a tv show yeah before I, going to bed i get the feeling i want to see a certain actor so i go and watch like all of his films and then that like burns out i do it all the time even with the batman thing i was doing the other day i like Watch like every <laughs> Batman thing I can find. It's like I'm enjoying it. Like every every little bit of that is yeah. fun though. It's fun. Like I I love the the Batman Arkham I don't like series, yeah. but I haven't played the whole thing. I played a little bit of Arkham Knight and a little bit of Arkham. Oh, well, I beat Arkham Asylum, but yeah. I, I don't know. I don't read the comics, so I kind of just have to find everything in these videos. And I don't mind sitting back watching somebody explain something to me like I'm retarded, but yeah. it helps. I need it sometimes. So if I just went through comics, I just played. There were some pictures, some words there, and I don't really know what happened. That's how I was reading The Walking Dead ones. But yeah. I have to read it like the whole page three times and then break it down. I'm like, okay, I get this the, now. The comic books are they're they're wonderful works of art. Mm -hmm. Like I love The Walking but I, Dead. It I didn't know how to read them really as a kid, and I still don't know how to read them now. But, like I, 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 I have to say the show went downhill and then it went uphill and then it went downhill and then it went, you know, back up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, I did that. It's I was done the, yeah. Dabbled with it. And like I know you haven't watched the episode since Abraham I have, showed I his have. ass. No, no. Like I mean, what I'm saying is like I know you haven't really like regularly watched the show since that happened. I caught and up I know you, I know that cute girl died and then uh, Enid. Yeah. Another spoiler for you guys. You're welcome. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I've watched past that because I'm afraid Hopefully everyone's happens. already seen Abraham's butt, is what I'm... That's, that, that was a big point for me. It wasn't nothing, you know, against gay people. You know, it was, just, <laughs> it was just straight sex. It was just, 
Really, guy, you could have showed the chick's butt just to see well. <laughs> Maybe both of them would have sat better with me. I don't know. I was eating dinner. Just, uh... This ruined my whole dinner. God damn it. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. And I never watched the show for, like, two years. Not yet. Yeah. And then you started watching a couple episodes here and there and, like... Seeing you watch stuff. Well, that looks cool. Yeah. I, that I cool. love that show. That's a, that's a great show. show. I'm, expi- I'm excited for the new Supernatural show. Not me too. That'll that that's we'll, a we'll have to watch that one together. For extra, sure. definitely an extra little bonus we get. Wish I could talk about the ending. <laughs> Just the same thing. I know, I know, it's way too soon. <laughs> Oh, it's fun though. It's crazy how much entertainment we get compared to 50 years ago. Oh yeah, that's that's an insane thing. Wait, the from where the like drastic change just with uh, the matter of internet and phones growing, you know, like to what they are now. It's like I don't I don't. I don't think anybody could have ever imagined no. where we are right now. What's become of all of this? It was always like the, the, the one same crap. Thought. The same crap that happened for for thousands of years. Like all of a sudden, in the last couple hundred years, we have shifted. Like we we went from being just not just like knowledgeable and religious and following an order, but uh, we became innovative in a way that we have never ever been able to do yeah. like it's been we you think about it we've been the humans that we are for the last about 10 at least 10,000 years 12,000 years like what we are now and i feel that i i don't the way i feel about this is i don't understand how we never did this until the last 200 years. Yeah, the last 200 years where we really started figuring it all out and getting everything done. Maybe the population <laughs> increases or I don't know what, but... Yeah, like it was slow innovation. Even like guns and like, like weapons. It took the Civil War like, to get a decent pistol produced. Pretty much. About 230, 40 years ago, yeah. somewhere around there, is when we, we, we had... But more than more than just a, more than just a flintlock, fucking cock it every single time you need to fire, right? Handgun, you know, like that was the one of the last ones, and then it went to like loaded rounds, which is cool, but the evolution of guns itself is a thing that's only that we've only known for two hundred and fifty years plus. Yeah. Like somewhere right in that realm. Like I, I, I realize that there's like, like they harnessed like a small cannon, like fire stick type thing that where they had a barrel and they'd light it. You know, like old fucking like way back in the day. Right. Like not necessarily in the dark ages, but like later in time. I would say anywhere from 150 to 200 years before Brit, like before we came over here from Britain and. England, or go out well, before we came over here from England and wherever the fuck everybody came from. Irish, like, you know, we have Irish in our family, so we ultimately came from Ireland and some parts of Europe. You yeah. know, like, that's that's our heritage, mostly. I'm sure there's other parts of it due to, like, Fowler's marrying into other people. Like, I don't... Sure. I don't know the whole tree, so I can't necessarily say. Well, and I've never had, like anything like that done. We're going from like guns to aviation, we still can't do any better in aviation. We can build bigger planes, haul more people, but we can't go faster. We, no, the we have nothing, we have, have nothing better than... Plane from World War II. Yeah, we have nothing faster than the best propulsion engines that we can have. Yeah, they did that in World War II from uh, Washington, D.C. to L.A. in 35 minutes. Stomped the old record by like three hours. And you still haven't passed it. You can't. Yeah, there's no way. No way for us to do it. There's no metal that won't melt. It's titanium and you can only get it so fast. 
the only way is element 115, bro. Like, that's, that's what, that's what... 115? Huh? Call of Duty? Oh. Huh? <laughs> Call of Duty? <laughs> well, yeah, but element 115... Well, there's a difference. There's oh. element 115, and there's element 115 from the video game. Okay. Element 115 is a fucking, uh, essentially, it's a, me it's some sort of element that they've literally, they, Bob Lazar was talking about it fucking four decades ago, three decades ago, but when they, re they, they released that they had made this element, or well not made it, found it in the particle, in a particle collider, which is, you know, the giant fucking, yeah. uh, thing that's uh, made of copper and all sorts of fucking metal wiring and magnets and shit and it fucking spins, spins, spins and spins and spins. I know I'm not that accurate on what the fuck this thing is. I've just, I remember seeing like five years ago a fucking thing about a particle collider and they basically run this fucking algorithm through this fucking thing at a very fast pace and these two at, like essentially like an atoms, these two atoms smash into each other. <laughs> And they find things that we don't know about. That's how we found out about Planet X, you know. Just saying, like, and that's how we found out about a lot of different planets that we know about, along with our, you know, finding them in a mic, you know, like on a, uh, a not a, a telescope, yeah, not a yeah. microscope, but a telescope. That's how we found lots of things. The advancements of telescopes, for example, over the past fucking de many decades, oh, is insane. Galileo built the first one, right? Um, I think Galileo, I don't remember if he invented it or if he came up with a way to improve it from just more than two. I think he added, I think he, all he did was add a few more and perfect some, some better way, but I, I right. could be wrong. Like, I don't remember. Me either. I haven't heard that crap since <laughs> that particularly, you know, that particular story about Galileo. I haven't heard that story since high school. Yeah, that's been a while. That's probably fucking, the last time I heard well, yeah, about it, too. Almost 23 years old. It's been a long shit, fucking I've... time. That's always been interesting. I like the stars and stuff like that. Yeah. Different constellations. I try to keep an eye out. I've always been interested in the constellations. Grandma Kate gave that to me. I like them. Very interesting. The fact they're always there, but different times of the year and stuff. But they're always there. Yeah. Walk outside and you can lay on the ground and look at them. I personally like to walk outside and look at them for about five minutes. And then I have the same thought that I do every time at the end of it. Really wonder what the fuck is out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, that's the yep. main question that everyone has to ask is what the fuck is out there. Yeah, really. Infinitely big. It's just a whole universe, which is unexplainable. Always can't explain what you can't explain. No, you can't explain something that you've never traversed other than the slight bit of research that we can do on it. You know, like, I mean, I say slight bit, but there's there's literally enough information you could study on the internet about astronomy, like, and going out and fucking traversing out traversing there. Out there. Yeah, there's not. I thought I said astrology for a second, and I'm like, no, that astrologists talk about fucking predicting your future and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, I can't wait to go hunting. Yeah, me either. That'll be, you know, pristine. It's a good feeling. Really? Really, it is. You gotta be one with yourself. That's the nice part. Yeah. One with nature. I don't know. I feel that you could also go outside and be at one with nature if you just go sit by a tree and meditate for a little while. Well, everybody has those fucking and problems. Because, you know, you say you look at a patch of grass. It's just a patch of grass, but you take a picture of it, throw a filter on, oh, now it's pretty. It yeah, was pretty in the beginning. It was it was prettier at first. You just and then have you, a way to make just, it prettier. Yeah, you have a way to make it, it better. Time. 
take your phone away for a week, you'll appreciate the color of the trees changing. Yeah. You'll appreciate those little things. Yeah, for sure. I think more people need to get off their phones and open up their eyes. Yeah, spend more time outside. Okay. That's, vitamin that's D won't something. kill you. No. The vitamin D will help you. And It'll be the cancer getting, getting outside and having break. exercise is good for you anyways. But Everyone should do that. Good. Always great. Uh, you can, but you can't exercise too much. No. You can always do something different. I, you can exercise too much in one sitting, but you gotta like you have your bench and but well yeah even like not that, even not even necessarily that, but you use a, like a like two twenty pound dumbbells for fucking an hour. Right. You're gonna be tired and sore, and then the next day you're not gonna your arms won't feel like doing anything no, necessarily. In the case of just it's just a matter down. of like you doing that same like whatever the fuck you know all the things you can do with a dumbbell there's lots of different exercises right. you can do with a dumbbell like getting out. but if you do it for an hour like even just your your stretches and whatnot using those two like your arms would be sore like if you don't do much just getting out on a walk and doing some yard work when you get on and just little things like that it's crazy exercise for you that you mm-hmm. feel better at the end of the day things you should do anyways especially if you don't do anything like that in your job life you just like in the desk all day or something. You need yeah, to for sure. Get up and do them stretches like I told you in high school. Me, I get 14,000 steps minimum daily now. You don't even get a chair in there. Huh? Yeah, no. It's like... There's not a stool in there anymore. I miss those working there. Like, I, I I'm saying I missed them. Like, just, like, I never, never got to use them. Like, but I remember going in as a kid and seeing there being stools at the nap store. Yo. That all you guys sitting that sitting down and bullshitting. Yeah. That was a long time ago though. Time does change things. Yeah. Definitely it, it changes a magnitude of things. It it's really insane it, it, how it you know, you think about like you think about something that happened to you six years ago. And you look at it as something that, like, you always used to look at it as something that might have frustrated you or pissed, you know, like, you feel like it fucked your life up. It was the problem at the time. Yeah, but it was literally nothing more than the problem at the time. And most of the times, you know, if it's something that you took away with a thought on someone else, it is usually something that, you know, you you didn't have to look at it the way you did when you were there in that time. But now you, you can reflect on it and use, like, okay, well, use whatever maybe that was bad that you said or stupid, you know, right. use it as something to reflect on for your future. Well, that's like, a crazy thing. For future conversations, even. With time, you know, it changes how you act about things, how you handle situations, but it also changes about how you think and how you respond. Mm-hmm. It does so many different things just within your body. And then time, yeah, it gives you wounds and you'll learn to live. That's all a part of life. Mm-hmm. But people just go through so much that you're never really yourself until you're a full adult and know what you're going to do. You can be yeah. 18 and do something, be 25 and be a completely different way. Well, like I, I talked to Sean the other day about how, you know, you, every seven years essentially, you are a completely different person than you were before. You know, every seven years every single cell in your body has died mm-hmm. and like reprocreated or well what do you call it regenerated yeah regenerated because one cell dies and then the like when that one cell dies another one comes back and then mm-hmm. another one it's the same kind of process as like people leaving the country people coming back to the country Planes going in, planes going out. It's kind of how snakes kinda, and scales. Yeah, snakes and scales, crabs, like crabs and their their fucking skin shed, shedding their fucking skin, yeah. like or their shells, whatever you want to call it. But uh, certain word for that. I think. Molting. molting yeah. yeah, molting. It's crazy. I don't thought like scientists can't figure out why we can't live forever, forever if we gen- regenerate ourselves. Yeah, because we constantly get toxins put in. Air you breathe, everything that's around. Yeah, that's got a big thing to do with it. 
Well, if you think about it, the reason I, the reason I think and the reason I, I had it was funny because you know Grandma, she's yeah, a, she's a Jehovah Witness, so she has a certain outlook on life too. But she said that uh, with with that, she personally believes that there was more carbon in the air back then. Like, oh, there was more car- like that's what that's what the they they teach is right. that there was more carbon in the air back back then. And that was probably the reason that there was more, you know, that people lived longer. Mm-hmm. And they talk about giants and shit, you know, yeah. like in, in a lot, like all the stories, a like whether whether it's in, you know, Bible stories or like um, in Egypt, they have stories of giants. Like all these different places have stories of giants. There probably were, like, if you think about it, I mean, they're, they talk about fossils, mm-hmm. you know, how fossils are, like, literally it takes, uh, the right conditions and a person dying in the right place and somebody not either cremating them you know we don't we don't know if we cremated our dead back in the day yeah. so if we cremated them and we threw their bones somewhere they would have decayed way quicker you know like yeah. certain certain places probably did do that if you know like when it comes to like even like the like Egypt, you know, and the Great Pyramids and, like, what are they called? I can't think of what the fuck they're called. El- emperors or, uh, uh... Pharaohs? Yeah, pharaohs. Thank you. Like, pharaoh fucking mummies, essentially, the way they prepped their dead was for them to... their dead yeah, body to... their dead body to last as long as it could possibly be there. It's still there. And they're still there. And, like, these, this is, like, six, seven thousand years later. Yeah. Or, well... Actually, that's wrong because the height of Egypt w- apparently was within the realm of like eight to ten thousand years ago. So, like, I'm thinking it was probably four thousand years later when that happened. So it, it would have been like six thousand years ago, I guess. Right. Somewhere right in there. Whatever happened to all the Egyptians? They just kind of disappeared. I I never I I. I Sure, I've heard this on some stupid thing, but I don't remember. Like, I saw a lot of those countries that sacrificed their children. Well, you realize, like uh, the the areas of uh, Israel, mm-hmm. uh, Iraq, and Iran. That area. Yeah, that's what it was. That's where. That's where. Essentially, where Jerusalem was, like somewhere in that area. That's where Jerusalem used to be in the day. Like, that's where Jesus visited very regularly. Right. Like, that's, to me, like, that's those people. Like, that's what they took away from that. And that's where those Christians ended up. Right. You know. That is. They're modern day same place, basically. <laughs> it's pretty insane to see how much you know, those are tell those us. are the leftover like remnants of, of passed down generation. Sorry yeah. to interrupt oh, you. You're good. It's crazy how much we can tell how old the skeleton is or how they died. If it was even if it was just blunt trauma or fucking flare of the ribs or something. We can look at it and we can see it now. Mm-hmm. Like we've come to a point where we've seen enough that people know. I never kind of really thought that that'd be something you could accurately look at and describe. Yeah. It's like, oh, how do you know? Like, something probably just fucking happened. I've been buried fucking underneath all that for all these years. Yeah, pretty much. But they have a good idea of telling. For, I don't. I don't know how they. How they wouldn't. How they know. Right. That's. I mean, I get it. I get they were they're studied and like done researched and have done it for many, many years, you know. But those same people, those same types of people, I'm not trying to project anything on right. other other researchers. But uh, the same on the same note, there's people out there who have looked at the Sphinx and think that the all the uh, weathering from it is from fucking wind. But there's a there's a decent amount of researchers out there who who look at that and say that is not like they can see it on a picture and say that's not fucking 
like something you get from wind. Right. Like this thing has been buried multiple times and it's been rained on for a thousand years. You know, it's it's it has a you know about a thousand years of rainfall is what two yeah, I think it's Graham Hancock believes. I think that's his name. But uh he he believes that the Sphinx has been rained on for over a thousand years. Water erosion. And not necessarily like, oh yeah, consecutive being rained on all year, every year for a thousand years. He's just talking about dry a thousand of years of here comes like it, rain. this 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 land had a thousand years of rainfall. Like it's it's had that amount of weathering and this thing was there right the whole time it wouldn't be wind wind would move it we've seen that with those rocks on the sand creates yeah. trails and stuff that moves stuff yeah it Especially moves sand the roads moves. and I don't know that's like have you ever uh, when me and Mariah went on that boat ride with uh, Matt and Kelly all those rocks, like every single rock along the Snake River, it, they were fucking shining, like glistening, you know, it yeah. was amazing. It was like, I looked at those rocks and I was like, holy crap, like these things have had some serious erosion over the, like many, many years that this thing's been here. And these rocks were probably shiny when settlers came, came to come here, you know, right. come to this, this state. That's why I think the Grand Canyon would be so beautiful. Yeah. I bet it'd shine like a motherfucker when you're down there. Looking at all of that time. Yeah, because it all got eroded due to water, essentially. Constant change. Oh yeah, like uh, the deterioration of uh, yeah. the people in Egypt. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand how that works, but too much for me to understand. Yeah, for sure. Or erosion on the fucking uh, water sides. Well, of yeah, rivers. sides of rivers. Like I, I, those are both things I can't wrap my head around, I can't comprehend necessarily in the same way. You can see it in some of the spots around the ocean too where it just slaps up constantly. Yeah, definitely. Like one thing one thing I think about all the time though is uh, <coughs> uh global warm. I don't understand how people can't believe that necessarily that the earth is not warm. Because Every year either way, warmer. either way, even if you're a believer that global warming is coming from um, like natural causes, like it's something that happens over many, you know, like it, it happens regularly. The Earth fluctuates in heat all the time. Like I get that. I, I get where you're coming from. I just I still don't understand how people can't say that. Yes, we only produce one percent of it. You know, it's literally like one, it's one yeah. percent of the global warming. Like even if we affect every, like we drop down everything, like everything Joe uh, Joe Biden was talking about putting, damn it, um, <laughs> everything that he was talking about in like dropping emissions mm -hmm. into the earth, like that's literally only going to help us like a tenth of the percent of what it would well, get to be able to go to zero pollutants into the... I think the best way for global warming to be explained is if I put 1% of poison in your glass of water every day, what's going to end up happening? You're going to yeah. get weaker. You're going to... Just how it is. 1% is a percentage. And yeah. It's like not saying that's the only fault of everything. We don't know. Yeah. It's just a percent that someone came up with. Yep. Somewhere. Can't get butter no. And get ultimately, butter. ultimately, I don't know. I I feel that global warming is it's something that's to 
be thought about, yes. Like, yes. there's some ways we could help to try to prevent it in, you know, a geographical manner. But, uh, you know, if, if Florida or some other places have to go under the water, that's that's kind of how Earth is going right now. Anyways, that's what Things should happen. Change. The Earth changes just the same as people change. and You choose to live on a you know, tip out in the ocean. Sometimes it disappears. <laughs> Sometimes. I've done it in video games. Me too. <laughs> it's it's happened. Shit happens in life that's not good. And yes, you know what? Always. Sometimes sometimes Mother Nature will throw a curveball that not just you, but not your mayor, not your governor, not your you know not, nobody right. that's fucking taking care of you can prevent. Well, I think <laughs> Florida was a great example because like look at all the sinkholes they've been having. Well, that, Huge, that, and, and but I will idea, say, I will say, they sink. handled the fucking pandemic like a chief. They did it. And they they did party. it. They still. They they stayed completely open, and everything was fine. Crazy. I don't know if it's the salt water they breathe in all the time. Or <laughs> they did great though. Yeah, like they stayed. They stayed relatively like similar to most places that were okay. California was boarding <laughs> itself up. Yeah. New York boarding itself up. Portland going down in fucking Almost flames, and itself. fucking Seattle was literally about to blow up due to all the fucking protesters and and, and, and the rioters. And precinct, they, they? Yeah, yes, there were those people that took over the entire precinct of a police station. They're you know. calling it like their safe zone. Um, or yeah, they called it the safe zone, and there was a different name for it. They had a name for their town. Before you know it, right? Yeah, you know, it's stuff. like. People were raping each other, oh, and yeah. drugs were being slinged everywhere. Oh, it's like, yeah. well, yeah, this, this, just, you guys just turned this into a regular fucking they ghetto, didn't you? They started not letting the truckers come in. It's like, okay, you don't need food. <laughs> you don't need food? Okay. <laughs> um, you're not letting these stores buy buy the stuff they need, so okay. okay. Um, you're not going to be able to have food because you're a dumbass. Don't think you guys through. don't have a garden <laughs> built already <laughs> in this place that you stole. <laughs> like, oh, Lord, that's yeah. that's the way I look at that, <laughs> personally. It's a different stuff for a while. But everything's coming back, though. Yeah, me too. Probably go back to a concert, stand-up clubs. I want to do that, really. Yeah. Bad. I want to go to a stand-up club. That'd be nice. That's why I wish I could go see Rob Schneider, too. No, I've... I've that's that's something I would love to do is be able to uh, go to a stand-up. Yeah. You know, like that'd be cool. That'd be fun. I've seen lots of their specials, just yeah. uh, never never been able to see one in person. Well, yeah, with our area where we live, it's hard to. Yeah. And Rob Schneider's like a godsend for here. When Jeff Dunham comes to fucking Boise, but Boise's a little far for it. Yeah. Spokane's better. I saw somebody fucking, some video of uh, someone at a concert in Lewiston of somebody big, but I can't think of who it was, and it was like from quite a while back. Well, I know they had a Nelly down there, I believe. can't think of the rest. They have some pretty good co uh, country co concerts. I remember a story about a, I think it was a was it two chains? They had chainy down there. No, there's a story about someone who was at the fucking at Lu went to the, the the casino in Lewiston, and they like partied all through town, and they got kicked out. Hmm. It was like Fifty Cent or something like that. Someone, someone big, big. big. I think it was two chains, but I can't. I can't think of who the fuck it was. Like, I, I'll just drop it. But right, I really can't think of who the fuck that was. Hmm. Yeah, I heard nothing about that. I don't listen to much. Like reading articles and stuff yeah. around here. But Everything somebody, somebody, from, like, one of one of those one of those people got banned, like banned from Lewiston, the entire town. Wow. Like, I can't remember who it was. I remember, like, researching it, but I can't... It was in high school. I mm. looked it up. So a while ago, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
over four years. I know it's crazy to think I've been out of high school for two. Three Straight. Years. Yeah. Just my graduating year, even. Um, what a long time ago. Yeah, what, time's passed. Things have changed. We've lived here for three years, Silas. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It kills me. Like, really? You're telling me we've been here for three years? Like, that's really how much time has passed? I get a Snapchat memory every year. Me and you standing at the Army helmet on when we first moved in. <laughs> Second night here. <laughs> <coughs> Don't worry. We'll edit that out. I know you will. <laughs> Feeling better, not great. Good. Yeah. <sighs> I can't think of much more to talk about, but there's like, and it's only it's only because the camera's there. Well, let's kill it. It's probably been an hour. Start doing these maybe twice a week. Yeah. I think we'll get pretty decent at just communicating through it. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, later. Deuces.